Yes, I've been up at the hospital. He got his badge on. No, I ain't. No, that was from the other night. <laughs> I ain't been up, bro. Praise God. Hey, I went, I went one night. Good grief. What's what you want? Look at this picture. <laughs> hey, look at this camera. Hold on. So we already talked about Miss Christine had a fall. This You don't take a lot of pictures, do you? No. No. No, I ain't got You don't take a lot I, of pictures and I ain't got me a love me room. You know the with my you, pictures everywhere. The most alarming part of it is he don't do a lot of laundry either. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I don't like to change clothes. <laughs> you don't say. Oh well, hey, look, the, the show done that. Yeah, yeah this is so this every is time a three he turned around. What was you wearing? Hey, I was wearing the same thing I've been wearing for six months. Yeah, I'm Friend about to head me. up there and visit Miss Christine okay. with this badge. My on. wife washes yeah. it every now and then. So is she is she doing okay now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have you know, that is. That is doing a battery of test. I got you. Whenever he told the story, though, we you had to try and hold in because you didn't know if she was okay, but it was still Uncle Si telling the story, so it was hilarious. Yeah. Well, no, no. He then heard we her. Found out he, she was okay. He heard her fall. You know what he did? Stone. He went. You okay? Yeah. Well, that's what I always say when I hear and it. Then, and then she said, "No." No, no. Cause y'all was just very weak. <laughs> Careful. I fell. Oh, I don't yeah. want to laugh at that. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Then I went in there and looked, and I said, "Uh oh, I got, I got hold. I'll be right back. I got to call nine one one." Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, that's weird because that sign on your porch says, "I am nine one one." Well, hey, that's <laughs> well, kind of hey, that one mom, that left when mom pop, calls. Okay, and it's up to the old man. No, I'm. No, nah, I just saying. I'm that, not a crisis person. That one that'll leave that pop knot on top of your head says, "We don't call nine one one." That's he's just the police division. Yeah, not. Do you fight fires? Do I what? Do you fight fires? No. No, I don't fight. Oh, he just lights. That's him. out. No, uh, hey. But anyway. I was in, a, I was in the military, services. but no, I'm not one to run to the sound of gunfire. Mm. Well, okay. did you uh supplies? Did you, did you take her to the hospital or the ambulance? Uh, right? No, the ambulance did. No, he had to go track down Philip yeah, McMillan because yeah. McMillan wasn't answering his phone. Yeah. So before Cy went to check on his wife at the hospital, right. he went and checked on It Phillip. was my near to panic mode. Yeah, Cy <laughs> was losing oh, everything first. around him. That's right, because it was about 30, maybe 45 minutes, and I, I, Philip wouldn't call me back. Huh. And I was saying, that's ain't, that's just no kosher. Because usually see. if I call him and leave a message, especially if I say, hey, Christine's failed, he usually called me right back. I'll be right over. But you did to go see her in the hospital, right? Yeah. Oh, I went oh, with her, yo. Know, okay. And once then, I got to Phillips, I woke him up out of bed and said, hey, drive me down to French St. Francis. Well, and then did. McMillan stayed. And, but and, usually I just say, Philip, go down there with her and then give me an update at the house. Right, yeah. No. So then, I actually spent that, about three hours in the emergency room. Oh, three hours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's a, and that's that's very that's not normal. Very un Robertson like. Yeah, yeah. But wait, there's it's more. Not that I don't care. I just don't like hospitals. And then what'd you do? Okay. Went and played poker. Huh? Well no no, that was hey, Sunday night. Hey, look, I was gonna be alone. So hey, we're no used to cancel the poker game. That's great. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> Never it. do that, J D. Uh, so there you go, Stone. You're caught up on, <laughs> on size life. Well, that's what's happening to me this weekend, okay? And I was this close, okay, to, yep. to losing it completely. Yep. He, he was a bad so they, you say. I am not, yo. Know, and that's why I've always said, I, you know, you got to think about this. E7 in, in the military, okay. Went to, I was involved in two wars, okay. And I never actually led any of my troops into battle, which I'm very thankful for, okay, because, you know, no, it wouldn't have. No, nah, that wouldn't that wouldn't have done for this kid here. Yeah, well, okay. hey, they know where they knew where to put you. you know, God knows, yeah, God knows what's best. Okay, His way is best. But the update I've been dying to hear, Stone, mm. how's Rucker? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how is Rucker doing with jujitsu? I still do have Rucker black belt taekwondo that's written right, right here right. for when he comes. This man has got a black belt in taekwondo. Yeah, that's that that. That is, I'm not going to question that, <laughs> but I'll, I'll say this about Rick. He showed up. Once? Well, look, that's, Twice. that's Twice. okay. Look, that's 90% of the game with that. I, but I think between you and him, it's a, it'd be a race to see who's got more wind. 
who's got better cardio. Oh, between Cy and him? Between Cy and Well, right. hey, give it some time. Give it just, hey, I'm telling you, okay? You know, you can't judge a book by the cover. Well, when it comes to cardio, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's actually a pretty fair statement. But what, yeah. hey, I like that, okay? But yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah, you toting around a spare tire, odds are your cardio ain't, ain't great. Well, yeah. Hey. He came in there. He said, "Oh man, I missed this. This mano y mano one oh one. You know, you're ready to fight. And Thirty seconds later, <gasps> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that'll get you. Well, it's hard to fight. That's why hey, you don't fight old people. Hmm? You don't fight old people. No, because hey, I'm gonna tell you what. We ain't got time. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hurt you and hurt you quick. Oh." I got okay, I, hey, about I just, two good licks is all I'm going to get. So, hey, trust me, when I hit you, I'm going to hurt you bad. You'll we'll make it count. I was just thinking as a general rule, and just don't fight old people. I mean, that, that, that well, no, kind of no, goes hey, back well, to hey, respect your elders. That goes with respect stuff. your elders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, old man walk up to you and hit you in the jaw, you may have to defend yourself. Hey, look, but don't, look, don't start it. My hey, dad hey, always told me. Look, we will sucker punch you in a heartbeat. Guarantee. Well, you know what You know what John Wayne said? He what? said, what, what was that movie? Big Jake? Remember that movie? Mm-hmm. Told that young buck, he said, well, since you don't respect your elders, maybe it's time you learn to respect your betters. That's right. <laughs> and then he knocked the piss out of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, there you go. My dad told me growing up, uh, if I ever wanted to fight him, feel free to, but be prepared to kill him because he was never going to (laughs) stop. Yeah. (laughs) It's just just not in him to to lose. Here's what I'm saying. I'm not going to lose unless I'm dead. So if you want to start a fight with me, prepare for murder. Yeah. Yeah. My limited knowledge of Big Dave, I'd say that story checks out. (laughs) Yeah, I never did. Yeah, I mm. never even stepped. He to might. Him. He might need to go see a therapist. No, he has. He is the therapist. Yeah, he's on he's Friday night that over now. Oh, okay, that was a long yeah. time ago. That's, no, yeah. yeah, it's not recently. He had. No, I had a man. He's a my, teddy bear now. <laughs> I had a gruff all, teddy bear. No, then. only to your grandkids. Go up there and slap him. See what happens. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a, a man in my yeah. under my care in the military, and he come home from leave. You know, back from leave. I said, well, you know, he had black eyes. Uh-oh. You know, and I said, what happened? He said, well, me and Dad had a fist fight. And I said, wait a minute. Did I hear you right when you said you and your dad had a fist fight? Hmm. He said, oh, yeah, we had, you know, we just went at it, you know. And I said, that would have never entered this boy's brain. What, fist fight and your dad? Yeah. So oh, fist no. Fist fight my dad. No, I, my daddy would have killed me and told God I'd die. Well, no, no. I promise yeah. you that. So, hey, look, boy didn't respect the hell and I killed him. Yeah. You know the one of the best parts about Rocket Money? What's that? It tells me everything I got going on this month that I've already paid, that I got. I would tell you what I need to cancel, but I've already canceled it all. Yeah. I'm I'm happy with everything. I got insurance <laughs> coming up. I got gas bill coming up. I got church tides coming up it's all good stuff well that's the beauty of it right because i mean when you first sign up for it you see all the money you're wasting so you use rocket money boom it's canceled everything's done but then once you get your life cleaned up then it just helps keep you on budget because you know i don't know if anybody else realizes this but we keep getting paid same money but everything get more expensive so you got to get a little more clever with your budget this day and age and that's where rocket money can really help you once you've used it to save all the money from canceling all the unwanted subscriptions that you do have right i mean correct amen so I like a wonder you know i got an alert from it the other day about uh amazon prime i was like but time out i keep him like you know that that is one that i enjoy so we all make sacrifices to keep things that we enjoy that's one that i actually use and find beneficial so i was like no no rocket money we cool like we're going to keep him, but thanks for the heads up. I appreciate that. But if you do have unwanted subscriptions, rocket money is the personal finance app that can find and cancel those for you. It monitors your spending, helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, rocket money can help me cancel it with just a few taps. The dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month. So I can clearly see my spending habits and I create custom budgets 
to keep my spending on track. So it's it's a very, very easy accountability tracker uh, if finance is something that you struggle with or you're having problems with. And like I said, I think pretty much everybody in the world these days is with the the rising cost of everything could use a little help on that. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with the customer service folks for you so you don't have to. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscription saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. It's so easy. Johnny D sitting there using it right now. So look... I- I like it. Yeah. And the things I wanted to cancel, boom, right there on the app. I had something, but I don't have it no more. <laughs> and I'm glad. Look, I don't even remember what it was, and I was paying for it. So I clearly don't use it that much. And you'd be surprised at how much of that you got going on, too. Amen. Especially this time of year for like fishing hobbyists, when you start looking at tackle orders, if you're like a tackle junkie like me, you're like, ah, yeah. Mm, ah, okay. All right. But. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. One more time, rocketmoney.com slash duck. You know, I've, I've uh, what, been in the principal's office like three times for slapping a young, young lady. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, look, it's wintertime. I don't know how to. I just get off the bus. We've been waiting outside, and my ears are frozen. Well, the first thing that happened when I sit down, and you know the desk, the type you had to slide in, and then it's like, you can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, some idiot behind me, you know, (laughs) thought it was funny when he liked to broke my ear when he thumped it. Well, I turned to get him, Uh and my knee accidentally rubbed Beth's butt. Is that true, Beth? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't a Canadian. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, look. look. Beth, she, does this story check out? No, no. Look, she backhanded me. Well, hey, there was no thought involved at all. She backhanded you? Oh, yeah. It was bam, and then bam, crash, boom, bam. Wait, time out. Oh. She, she backhanded you oh, yeah. for touching her butt with yeah, your knee? Yeah, with my knee. And I was, I was in the process of, excuse me, Beth, I'm after idiot behind me. Well, hey, I didn't get it out of my mouth, and it was wham. And she smacked And then it was wham, crash, boom, boom. Man, we went straight to that, man. And then this is in class. And then the teacher jumped up and just screamed, Silas, Brother Roberts, what are you doing? Well, she's trying to get out of the chair, so I help her. I just grab her by the arm and yank her out of the chair. And I said, let's go, young. We're going to have to talk to her because the teacher was saying, to the principal's office. And I said, come on, girl, you're going too. You're trying to and take somebody screaming, down with you. Yeah, huh? no, no, she's screaming, you have to turn me loose. I said, no, I ain't turning you loose. Come on, we got to go see the principal. We. The 50s you know, it ain't going to be me alone. You didn't ever slap box in the locker room? No, no. Because oh. first time somebody slapped my face, I was, <laughs> you know, and they pulling me off of them. Pilot, you know, well, I fixed and beat this clown high to death. This is true. I've never That's wanted true. to slap side. Oh, oh yeah, right. well, slap but I sure like to me, watch somebody else me. do it. Hey, right what now. you do? <laughs> I ain't the brain doing it. is dead. Okay, and it's all just reaction. Short circuit, huh? Yeah, That's your Yeah, thing. I've done. I've done been turned off. Okay, and I, and it ain't no telling where I'm at. Well, I think everybody got that trigger. Mine was if somebody spit on or towards Ooh, me. Oh, oh yeah. Nope. Couldn't handle that. Oh, no. Yeah. No, uh, hey, no, I had we, epi- we about to scratch gravel. Oh, oh yeah. No, no. Because, <laughs> hey, I had an episode that within a church building. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Evangelical place, huh? Oh, hey. You know, I was very, uh, you know, I let to say I went down front and repented. Same bill. <laughs> and he took that person oh. with him. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Come on down We're going now. No, 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 no. You no. got some explaining to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Ooh. man, that's funny. But I'm just going to now. I got to change my story everywhere I go speak about you. So I always well, said if they cut your head open, we'll be number rainbows and butterflies. Well, but there's a violent somebody. Oh in no, no, look, gosh, hey, look. I've always told people. They ask me what did what did going to war, going to Vietnam teach you? Yeah. And I said, well, I said, have y'all watched Star Wars with Luke? About hey, Luke, come on over to the dark side. I said, hey, that's a true statement. Each individual human being 
Has then go has the to dark the dark side. Then okay. go to the dark side and in a in a heart. Stone, you got that one thing like somebody stomp on your foot or something. Is there one one thing? It's a no, trigger. It's the 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 spit thing. Yeah, it's spit's just, bad one. About yeah. the nastiest. Well, well, that's, that's, to me, it was the repulsive. ultimate sign of disrespect. That's right. Like, well, that's worse than that. It goes farther than that. Yeah, okay. it's just it's just a bad. Uh, yeah, it's just that's something that hey, that's one of them. Hey, you do not do. That's guaranteed to get the meat. Oh yeah. Right oh there. yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. you know that's like a, what Merle Haggard sung a song about. Hey, you're on the fighting side of me. Yeah. If you want to fight, hey, do that, and hey, it's on. That's why it surprised me when I see someone get in a veteran's face. Who would do that? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm saying these days you have no idea what you know. That's like a uh, uh, light the stick of dynamite, and you're sitting there flipping it in, in between your hands. Because you have no idea what that man has been through. That is a dangerous analogy. Yeah, and then you're going to fool around and get in one's face? I'm not. <laughs> you're not very smart there, sir. Matter of fact, you're a stupid. Oh, you know, he's stupid. Okay, <laughs> human being. Mm-hmm. Okay, because you're talking about playing with fire. Okay, you are playing with fire. There you go. And the fuse has been lit long ago. Long ago. Oh, all that's fixed to happen here is that he's fixing to blow up on you. It's hard to believe we started just talking about Rucker, but <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> I would like to. I would like to wrap up the Rucker. So, <laughs> well, we'll finish. Do the you Rucker. see? Do you see promise out of Rucker Stall? Well, like, is he still? I mean, he's still there. Yeah. Because here, at some point in the very near future, we're going to have to have Rucker back and oh, ask yeah. him about his yeah. experience right. oh, yeah. as a well, jiu-jitsu uh, student. I would say between the ears, he has a lot. Of promise. Yeah. Yeah, he's a smart dude. But he's a smart cat. Below, I mean, he makes some dumb decisions, but right. that was BC. All <laughs> right. But we all did, right? Yeah. yeah. That was, hey, right. that's the, that's one of the common areas, okay, in that. Okay? Yeah. 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 Uh, Stupid what, before decisions. Christ? Yeah. Yeah, bef- BC. Okay. Yeah, BC yeah. before Christ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we all made dumb decisions. Yeah, yeah. but he's always, yeah, he's, he's tack sharp up there now. Well, he's sharp. He's, he, he retains the information well. Yeah. But his problem is, below the neck <laughs> is he's struggling well maybe he's got a good team but too then. i think that he's motivated hey, and i got both problems and he's made his mind up he's gonna do it <laughs> Man, hey Put below the neck and above the neck yeah. <laughs> if, if he made his mind that's up why, that's why i ain't in jujitsu yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. no we'll see i'm i'm oh. it's 50 50 right now did he have you asked him what is his motivation for it Oh, he just wants to learn the, learn the craft, the craft of it all. Oh, okay, and it help get himself in better. Well, and then it'd be, like yeah. well, be like John Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Well, like John Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't, if you won't respect the elders, you will respect your better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. I just want it because you know he's he's newly married. I didn't know uh, you know if if his woman had got him into this. Like, hey, this ain't gonna work, big dog. What you got going? <laughs> so. Time to start you know, jogging. Yeah, yeah, it's time to start jogging around. Do something. Yeah, or that, just get up, you know. I don't know. His, uh, I've never met his wife. Have you? Mm-mm. No. But he's, he's, it's he's a seen, shocking is discovery it? when you meet her. You're really? like, Rucker? Really? Oh, the boy always been a salesman, though. Yeah. He, that's, that's no matter if it was pills or himself, he could sell it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That's true. Yeah. And he sold himself. Yeah. Way out of his league. He got the gift. And I'm allowed to say that because I'm way out of my league. We hey, all are. Amen, brother. But, it's all about having the gift of gab, which is how you end up with a podcast, too, apparently. But oh, there you go. But Here then, we are. That's why then I, people I, don't want us to talk and they just want to listen to nothing. So, you know, I don't know. It's a very confusing I'm trying time. to figure out why the hell I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're another doing. another one thing i another, don't uh, one thing i don't have is the gift of gas you what are you talking about we all just laughed at you see that's why you're here <laughs> that's it you're here for the one line at a time one at a time there you go but that's one that's line. what makes the world go around hey one liner that's it boys yeah that hunter's gonna have to edit out i mean he edits out probably 75 cent 75 percent of them but you know it is what it is. That's fine. Yeah, but some of them are so good, you don't need to add them. Out. Amen, buddy. Hunter, are you ready yeah. for us to go to break? Yeah. Is this the I, first I don't, break or the I don't third even, break? I don't no. even know. You're just, just, you can power through it for all I care. Power through. Okay. All well, right. That's what I'm going to tell you when you're editing this and your head explodes. So that's fine. Power through. <laughs> no, we will take a break because I need a drink of water. We'll be back right, right. after this. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have a shot of tea, boys. 
Look, after the hype of the new year, we all start settling our routines. But for businesses who do a lot of mailing and shipping, you got to keep moving. So for us, everybody sees Duck and Buck Commander are probably our biggest two. So you're thinking, man, it's February, you know, March, whatever. Y'all probably slowing down. Well, we got Strut Commander. We got Fin Commander. Guess what? You order from those. We're using stamps.com to send you those too. So, And I know. It's busy. Honey Hole Tackle Shop. We selling things. Y'all slinging it right now. We got people calling, asking for stuff. They can't find where they're at. We send it out, stamps.com. I mean, it's like having the power of the post office right there at your fingertips because postage rates just increased again. Luckily, stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. Like, they can save you up to 89% off of USPS and UPS rates. Plus, stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options, so you don't have to navigate all the different carriers. You, got, you would be shocked at how many customers I have that live in Crossit, Arkansas, and or Rayville that don't want to drive. Call me. I'll put it in the mail, stamps.com. They got it like a day or two later because it's so close. Well, in fairness, these days, it's cheaper to ship it than they can drive there. So. And my man, Larry London. He calls me all the time. He gets all of his chenille, ties his own jigs, <laughs> ship it right out of his and door. And then you can tell him exactly what that price is because all you got to do is get on the dashboard, box it up, and go. And you say, look, bro, it'll be there tomorrow. Boom, boom, so, boom. I mean, it's that simple. It does make your life easier. And look, if you do ship a lot, guess what? They got all the stuff you need, too. If you need boxes, if you need tape, if you need everything, you can get all the supplies right there. So... Look, keep your mailing and shipping moving at the speed of business with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code Duck for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code Duck. Your brother acquired something the other day. Well, actually, it was for Miss K, but he now. Has a bidet installed. Oh, it's in all in. <laughs> Bill Robertson has a bidet. Bill Robertson Ooh, has uh, a bidet. That's what I'm talking about, baby. He doesn't want to be a schmear. Hey, like hey, no, no. Hey, just no, smearing it around the everywhere. The only thing about that is, okay, is, all right, you need to post a warning. <laughs> because somebody that's never experienced that, okay, you just don't want him unaware going into your bathroom it's not well, how like, many people go into phil robertson's bathroom? well i'm just saying okay <laughs> like his bedroom you need to post a warning somebody's liable to have a heart attack there's like a force field over his bedroom at the house all my years of running around there you know the one room i ain't been in yeah it's his, phil and k's bedroom yeah i just you just don't go there i've never i don't care how big of a bind you in you go to the woods uh, i went in you go in, I went there. in that bathroom one time and i was scared <laughs> And now there's a bidet in there. Uh -oh. yeah. Is it so, heated? So Jersey Joe had had the bidet out, had his parts laid out. You know. I like Jersey Joe more and more every time and, I hear about it. And him. Phil walks in. He said, what you got there, Jersey? He said, Phil, it's a bidet. He said, what is that? Yeah, what is, and what he is explained no to him, is that? it's for Miss K. And then once he got it on the pot, Phil walks in there and looks at it. He said, how are you supposed to take a leak? Because in his mind, he was thinking a continuous waterfall, yeah, a, a, a continuous uh, yeah, spurt sp spout of water, yeah, yeah that never. This is Old Faithful in in the uh, Grand Canyon here. Yeah, yeah. so I do like yeah, Phil's thought. I do like Phil's thought that he can still hit the back of the toilet while doing it. Yeah, <laughs> act like he don't dribble over the front. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I said he's like the eighty second Airborne. <laughs> <laughs> parachute boys yeah <laughs> <laughs> so anyways Phil, anyway Phil, drop in bill said how you take a leak and he said well you just raise the lid just like you would a normal toilet you take a leak he said oh okay so he goes then he, then he told jersey joe don't tell anybody i got this <laughs> and here, and we, here are. we are yeah and then yeah. the whole world knows it now well, of course right. phil's a feral i don't know last time he picked up toilet seat take a leak you know yeah. I really don't know last time he took one inside. Most time that's right. off the perch. <laughs> so has he used it? Oh yeah. And he he was bragging on. It. I think they talked about it on the Unashamed podcast yesterday. <laughs> but he talked about it, he felt like he had to sneak up on it <laughs> wow. before he used it. You know, it was like its own entity in there. <laughs> so he's just kind of slipping up on it. 
And then I've geez. never wanted a GoPro in Phil Robertson's bathroom yeah. more than right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just to see his reaction. Oh, well, that's why but, I said you need to post it, your uh, warning. Uh, but yeah. uh, I'm serious, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shoulder up, obviously. Yo, hey, I ain't that, interested technology's in it. fine, yeah, but hey, but sometimes you need a warning. On I bet okay? Phil, before he used it the first time, looked around. Oh, oh yeah. To make sure make that sure nobody nobody's was watching. watching. I, yeah, bet he, yeah. I bet he probably still does. He's probably like, All oh. right, now. Okay, boys. You know, he those, na- those no seals? Yeah. He was buying the Victoria's Secret perfume. Yeah, the Amber Romance. That's Amber stuff, Romance. That stuff's legit. It's the only thing to keep him nasty off of you. Yeah. And I saw it in his rig. And I said, what's that? He told me what it was. He, then he followed that by saying, don't tell nobody. <laughs> hey, that's the funniest thing, though. Yeah. He goes deer hunting, okay? And, and the one or two twice, you know, that he's actually climbed up in a deer stand to deer hunt, usually it's in the pickup. But anyway, he, he had sprayed that stuff because the gnats were real bad. So he's sitting there, and here comes three coons down the deer trail. And then once in a while, they all stop and stand up and... Yo, and he's watched them do it. They literally climb the ladder, okay, and stick their head over it. Yo, it smelled him. I laughed. I said, "Good grief, son!" So hey. repels gnats and attracts coons. Hey. Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. Yeah. Amber Romance. Yeah. Amber Romance. He I has. got like a five gallon jug of that stuff at the house. It works. Oh no. Oh, it's fantastic. It you no just have to. You just have to reapply it a lot. Yeah. It just, I don't even remember who's some kid down there that was deer hunting on his property. He'd get out of the truck and spray himself down with it. Now, that was Febreze. Yeah, yeah. Now, he'd spray Phil, it down. Look, so I, I, I witnessed this. How does day. Phil pronounce it? Febreze is what <laughs> Phil calls it. Febreze. Febreze. It's right there with Yeti. This, he got on a deer hunting kick for a couple of years where he's actually sitting in the stand and watched deer. So I saw him spraying Febreze on his hunting clothes. And I said, Phil, what are you doing? And he said, this is fire breeze. This is what you got to do. They will not smell you. And, of course, it's, it was so potent. Oh, it's stout. The smell yeah. coming yeah. off of yeah. it. It's like linen. Oh, yeah. And I said, I said, Phil, if they can't smell that, I said, I can smell that. I know them deer can. Then he showed me the bottle. You know what it says on the bottle? Eliminates odor. Eliminates odor. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Hey, no, but anyway, like, whatever. We're, do- we're, in the, we're in the duck blind, okay? Every time this kid showed up to deer hunt, he'd get out of the truck and spray himself down with it. Yeah. And then World War Three is going on, you know, him with a rifle. Bow, 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 you know. Then when we we meet with him, he said, well, what, what was you shooting at? He said, oh, man, I had bucks running every direction, you know. And he said, I think I hit one. You know, he shot 15 times. He said, I think I hit one. Who's he, he ain't talking who? about a kid. You talking about yeah. Jimmy Red. Who you well, does fix I don't know. I don't remember. No, it wasn't Red. It was somebody else. But anyway, he always killed a buck when he went hunting. And hey, yeah, that's what he, hey, he'd get out. And I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about just a couple of little sprays. This kid soaked himself with it, okay? I'm glad ain't many hunters listen to this. Oh, yeah. no, it's hilarious. You know, but hey. Our credibility going down the tank. <laughs> you want to kill a four-point spray down with Febreze. That's right. That's Notice right. I said buck. And yeah. then boom, boom, He boom, didn't boom, say boom, old boom, boom, boom. No. He said buck. Yeah. Well, hey, you know the dumbest thing walking? Spike. A spike. And a four-point. Yeah. The dumbest <laughs> thing on four legs, a spike buck. I mean, he's just like the rest of us as a youth. Dumb. <laughs> don't act like it ain't true those That's eyes it. he just gave yeah. me <laughs> young males significantly dumber than young females yeah significantly, significantly. in all species yeah so we ain't we ain't been accused of being too bright anyway no okay. absolutely i was glad uh us on the bidet side and i'm pretty alone <laughs> when it comes to duck commander <laughs> We got Phil on, on, on the team now, so. Yeah. Problem is, he ain't going to say in public. No. Well, he did talk about it on the podcast. I really would like to have seen his face the first time that it got. It, 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 well, it, it really it. depends on if, because, you know. So here's the problem. If it's cold outside if I had and he to, ain't got a heated one. If I had <laughs> to argue for somebody to oh. have one, though, as a man who spent enough time down there in them woods and walked up on Phil's piles. Yeah. I mean, I think he went like a solid five years without doing that inside. Yeah. And if the urge hits him, he's just going to drop trowel wherever he is. Oh, hey. Get it over with. Favorite is but, all, off a log. But I'm saying. I'm serious. Yeah, a log off of a log. Yeah. But. Yeah. 
The <laughs> if there was a man that I could justify, say you know you probably need that off of just based off what I've seen yeah. in the woods. Grizzly bear. It's Phil Robertson. Yeah, it's a great system. Yeah. Oh, it gets I, you clean. I can't help it. We've already told this once. He dropped a load off of a log. <laughs> Okay, go, and for five years, okay, <laughs> every time we'd come around the corner, we'd, we'd say, shoot that cotton mouth. Yeah, five years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing touched it for There's five that, years. There's that 95%. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell the whole man. Oh, that is a true story, but it, hey. it, it didn't hang around for five years. Hey, I don't know. It hung around for <laughs> I just, remember, I just remember, hey, shoot the cotton mouth. Well, me and Jace log. almost shot that thing. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. It, but, um, it looked just like it was a, it was a color, up. color of Johnny D's hoodie. Yep. Black and, and was, blue. Hey, and look, it was cold, okay? <laughs> this is wrong. Uh, <laughs> would, would, would you try a bidet? Huh? If it was heated. No, I do no. But it's heated. Hey, the last thing I want to do is sit down. And be involved in, uh, you know, what taking a dump, okay, and then hey, hot water, you know, the you know, hot water, old, way fa- better. old faithful coming on, old know? faithful from the Grand Canyon, yeah, yeah. yeah. I say he wants a clean butt. Hey, <laughs> I, I, you know, I wipe, okay. It's you know, just smearing the water. It's smearing. You know, if I'm gonna take a shower, I take a shower, okay. <laughs> I'm just. That's why I'm saying, hey, you need if you got one, put a warning on it. Old faithful may. Explode. You had to press a button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's motion activated. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like, oh, wow. It's like, it's like, is there okay. a delay? Oh, between you're the responsible button? for this. Is there a delay between the button press and the. On oh, mine, there is. It yeah. is? Yeah. Okay. So you kind of got, got one 1,000. Hey, you, you got time, time to prepare. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's I, got a remote control. <laughs> so I th- oh, oh, boy. You can do it from oh. another room. I don't have that. Oh, yeah. Look, that, now that'd then, be fun. And then it's got one that uh, that starts <laughs> like oh, yeah. or a, a pulser, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's for when it's really on there. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, for when it's like boy. a sharpie. Mm. You just wipe and wipe, and it's still there. Yeah. Mm. Been there. Yeah. Haven't we all? Yeah. Mm. Welcome back to bathroom humor with the duck. Well, that's not even humor. <laughs> that's just real life. It is. I mean, real. if somebody listens to this, I ain't ever had that. They lie to themselves. That's fine. That is the worst. <laughs> hey, the but I said, no, I don't want to be surprised. That's yeah. funny. Phil, yeah. Phil probably needs a descaler on his. Yeah, he may need to potentially look at adding some degreaser to the tape, too. <laughs> like, I'm just telling you on the things I've seen in the wood. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Ooh. I've seen and smelled. Yeah, that's, yeah, he is. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. you know, more power to him. He, said, he always said there's no better one than a woods one. I believed him. There's, I, there was I, little piles I, all over them, that 600 acres down there. I like the water. I like jumping in the lake. I prefer to actually sit down and in AC. Like, I got no issue. I like a cold morning walking in with the heated seat, getting all cozy, good book. And I say, <laughs> I don't know. Rip. I mean, I understand your seat's heated, but I think I've just been so programmed to flinch when you sit down and the seat's warm that uh, I couldn't enjoy that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is the way. I, like I like the seat being cold. Because the warm means who was there last. Occupancy. Yeah. 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 That's a problem. Yeah. That's kind of like y'all's bath water growing up. Yeah. Hey. By the time it got in you. Three or four, it, hey, last one in, hey. It's dirty and it's cold. And that was you? Hey, that was it. No wonder you run around naked everywhere. Uh, hey, look. I would have too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about freedom. <laughs> <laughs> lives his life by that yeah. uh, hey I'm just telling you hey uh, we're going to talk about the greatest movie that has ever been made by mankind oh the acting in it superb those with outlines even better oh wow <laughs> hey I agree I'm sorry the wildlife shots were second to none the, whoever called those ducks in in the blind he was a genius. He was stellar. The people, the story was about phenomenal. The crazy brother slash uncle, probably my favorite character next to Hunter number one. You know, it was just a great movie. Huh. And we're obviously talking about the blind. And our fans have probably seen it. And if they haven't seen it, you know what they're trying to figure out? Where can I see it? How to see it. Yeah. 
Most of them have DVD players, but if you haven't gotten it on DVD, you can stream it. And right now, you can stream The Blind exclusively on Great American Pure Flicks. What is Great American Pure Flicks, Martin? It's that sounds like a great American place to watch Pure Flicks. Well, look, it's something that everybody could use a little bit more of in their life, that's for sure. Their shows and movies are uplifting and entertaining, and they actually celebrate faith, family, in this country, which these days is pretty rare. What's even better is that you can try Great American Pure Flix absolutely free for seven days. So you get to watch The Blind for free. You don't have to leave your house. You get a ton more shows and movies. And you know you're supporting a streaming service that supports your values. Besides you, everything, you know, all them years no, ago, there be did, a movie about your life. My question is, brother, where is what stream is this streaming on? Uh, the one right next by the trout stream. Great American Pure Flix. It was weird to hear the stories in the duck blind and then to see it on the big screen was kind of emotional to see. How many times did you hear the story of him racing cars on foot? <laughs> and then you got to see it. Yeah. It was yeah. cool to see. Now is the best time to do this. Visit pureflix.com slash the blind for your seven day free trial. And if you love it, which I know you will, from March 22nd to March 31st, you can take advantage of their limited time offer of $59 for an annual subscription. They have good, clean, wholesome content for the whole family. So check out pureflix.com slash the blind to try it free and let us know what you think of the blind. That's it. And enjoy your streaming. Well, Stone, I know uh, we are talking before this. Kind of back to the jujitsu realm. We, we've got a new belt member, oh, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, baby Sage got her gray belt last oh. night. So, oh, so how bad? That. How bad could Sage hurt? Like me or Johnny D? Well, I mean, hey, she can make both of you pass out. If she, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if, if she, she, uh, could, she would, she would make you either both of you pass out. Yeah, I don't witness that. She oh, would, there we go. Yeah, oh. look at her. She's a little savage. Oh, look, no, at, I, look, I, look at her gee. She's I, stylish. I, oh, she got I a I call her the blonde gee. tornado. Look at her. Yeah, but right. that's about three years of consistent training. And she loves it. It's it's the equivalent of a, an adult blue belt is what it is. Yeah. In other words, she was in a in an altercation. She could handle herself with somebody her own size. That's a good picture. a little bigger. Of both of them. So, what, what he's saying is oh, if yeah. she ran into both of my boys in the neighborhood their toes that's right oh wait what happened are you throwing your daughter no that's that's uh that's dempsey one of the females in our school oh but it, when you get promoted you got to go down the line and any any color belt either can choke you or throw you <laughs> you get to decide at least that sounds oh you get hurt. you get to decide what they do to you well that's right so. oh okay but uh, does somebody seem to like prefer one over the other i'm just curious like, oh well no. martin we're going with 50, throw 50. huh we're big guys we want to make them throw us no i don't want to get want choked oh, well. are you kidding i don't want this times 9.8 meters per second squared That's going right. towards the ground right. no sir yeah, don't choose like, that yeah he's no. not done enough I'd, enough I'd much rather go because this involves burley yeah. doesn't yeah. it I don't want no, Burley. Burley doesn't have his colored belt. Yeah, he's okay. got a white belt. So, anyways. Yeah, I'd be over there just, I'd much rather more prepared to tap on my shoulder before I well, get there. You go. Night. There's the picture right there. Hey. Well, look at them eyes. Hey, you know who her role model is? You? Rhonda Rousey. <laughs> uh oh. She loves Rhonda. Look Rousey. at the look on that lady's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah she heard it hey, no I, can read, I can read between the lines there i will kill look at those you. eyes look zoom in on those eyes and then yeah. no and no and then serious. look at his eyes no i will kill you yeah the, in a the, new the, york yeah. robertson deep in there yeah. <laughs> it's in there somewhere it's a smidge of gibson <laughs> hey, I can't help but think, what is that girl thinking right now? That she will hurt them anybody eyes. that comes yeah. across her. I will uh, hurt Hey, you. the day that her and Rucker square off. Call me. Will you, I mean, will you be sure and video that? I'm, no, I want to see that one in person. Well, I mean, I want it to live forever. Uh, so that's but why it was a very proud moment for me. Oh, that's I mean, cool. that's uh, How old is she? She just turned nine. Yeah. And that's about. 40 moves she had to demonstrate in front of the class and in the crowd. And then she got Shark Tank, which she had, when we picked the five toughest boys in the class, and she had to survive five rounds with them. Good night. And then towards the end, it got a little tough. I could see those eyes start to well up a little bit. But the lesson here is learning how to deal with very, very uncomfortable situations. And she now, in this case, has the ability to escape those 
very uncomfortable situations and come out on top in the end. So she survived it. She did great. It was pretty cool. You ought to be proud of her. No, oh, I am. That's I'm a beautiful ex- young lady. I'm extremely proud. Heck, I'm proud of her. No, no, Nine years yeah. old to stick yeah. out with something like that. Oh, no. no, no. Most kids no. don't do that these days. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Most kids don't. No, it, it was tough. It, it takes was, a lot it was of tough discipline. to watch. Okay. As a parent, it was very tough to watch. Yeah, I bet that is tough. She was struggling at the end of it. But. And you'd want to whoop somebody. Yeah. Well, no. Is I mean, she killing a deer this year? <laughs> huh? Is she killing a deer yeah, this she's year? Yeah, she's going to shoot her first deer okay, this year. Okay, I want to be there. So. I've always said when the apocalypse happens. I want to be there. Me and my family are just going to go pack up and start working for Stone and his family. And just be like, yeah. yes, Miss Sage, whatever you need, y'all protect us. We'll do what you need. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm, she's saying? I remember uh, <laughs> BK's first doe. Oh. Oh. Me, me and Stone were fired up. And BK, uh, BK just put the gun on safety, set it down and talked. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, like I'm bored to death I have a now. Feeling, feeling that this one's going to be the same way as far as that. Because you know what she told me? She said, Daddy, you know what I'm going to do for my birthday? I said, what? She said, kill something. <laughs> I said, yo, Uncle Si, I'd be so proud right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll be with Shay. All right. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> just kill something. Kill something. No, that's cool. Yeah, that's, it is. Yeah, that's I'd, impressive. I'd, yeah, her and Ruckus. Well, hey, to put square and off. Yeah, it's gonna be go cool. through that. Yeah, at nine. Yeah, are you nine kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if for a nine year old to stick yeah. with something oh, yeah. to that point, like yeah. forget mm-hmm. the belt, forget the trials that come with it, just the the well to go the discipline it. to yeah. stick go it out it and then keep coming back. Yeah. That's that that's okay. that's big time yeah. for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, we we gonna be all right. We got the prayers. <laughs> we got the president. <laughs> got his. We got it. Secret service. Secret service. <laughs> like we we building a squad here up under. <laughs> he gonna need protection. Oh, I yeah. Love it. I love it. <laughs> all the problem is she probably she's so, she I know say she's so smart she probably gonna be head of secret service so Jackson will probably be front line. Yeah. By the time that boy get get through beating up his brother, that's what I'm going through right now. But uh, are they fighting? They, oh, are they fighting? Uh, are you kidding me? It's beautiful. It's fun. I laugh because I mean I I don't let them like put the boots to each other or nothing. But they got to figure out oh, yeah. that other people exist and there's a right way to do things and a wrong way. So you know, I just let them kind of scuffle a little bit, and then I get over there. And oh, I might be a bad parent for this one. I make sure that they know that there's a bigger bear in the room. Like, oh. yeah, you just, y- you y'all, that. y'all sort out yourselves, but it better not go no further than this right here that, you know, there's, there's one coming for you. So I had a, t- I had a tattletale on a little sister the other day and I said, you, your little sister hit you and you're coming to me. I said, you go make sure she doesn't do that again. Oh, wow. <laughs> How'd that go? It didn't go well for the brother. Um, he got whooped again. <laughs> oh, 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 Ben. No, not really. Ben took it on He's the chin. small. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, but he wailed on Carter the other day. I was like, okay, now I've got we've. I'm just like we're trying to get a little tougher here. Yeah. And that, but now we're wailing on each other. I'm like, okay, we got to yeah. dial it back. Yeah. Don't mess with the prayers. Don't. Yeah. Don't mess with the prayers now. How old is he? Who Ben? He's about to be eight. He's and he's the his. smallest kid in his class. But he's the goalie. Hey, Stone saying he'll carpool to jujitsu class. Send him over. Yeah. He will get whooped. That what, <laughs> I hope you're never listening to this. At any point, Ben's your tough kid. No. But you're not right now. Not right now. We're getting there. <laughs> That's what needs to happen. And guess what? A year later, he's gonna dish out some of it. <laughs> he needs. To, I, we might do it. We're we're working on soccer right now. But he's an aggressive mm. goalie. Boy, there's some folks that don't, that, that yeah. do Instagram post on parenting right now that we just made their heads explode. What fighting other kids? Oh yeah, letting them sort it out amongst themselves. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. The, the most that. proud I've been lately is I told Ben I said if you're gonna be the goalie on your little soccer team, use your teeth. If you have to, yeah, but stop the ball. To stop the ball, and he hey. just goes all out flailing. I'm like, that's all Look, I. Ask. I know you love soccer, okay, but but jujitsu is probably soccer is a game. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a game, and at the end of the day, people spend thousands, and thousands of dollars taking their kids around playing games. Oh, Congratulations, we're not your doing kids that. good at a game. Or are okay. they though? Not most of the time. You know how exactly. the percentage not in America the soccer. percentage of people that get paid to play games by point zero two percent. And I saw you know, remember David Pollock. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, but I, I saw people. something he said the other day that boy that it golly it rang true. He said point he's speaking to a group of parents. 
point zero zero two percent of these kids are going to play professional sports. One hundred percent of these kids are going to stand before the Almighty. Oh yeah. Oh no, we're big on that at oh, our house. He was talking about missing church to go play ball. Oh yeah, we yeah, don't. That's do that. what he was talking about. Sunday morning travel ball tournament. Yes. Yeah. We uh, uh, I have a rule in my house. It's if you're not the best person on your team, then we're not looking for other teams. So you can play the regular like. 10 games and if you're the best at that then we might look at something else but oh there's kids out there and hey by the way if you think your kid's gonna be a professional athlete go look in a mirror because they came from you yeah <laughs> so that wraps up my kids chances well not at softball <laughs> you said something though okay that's pretty good <laughs> slow pitch softball now I, I watched last night on on uh, uh sports channel it was Coach K of Duke and, and Roy Williams of North Carolina that they was interviewing. And they they got they ended the whole thing that they talked about, about all the championships they'd won, all the kids they had coached. Okay, they ended it with thanking the teachers, okay, for educating the kids first. Okay, because basketball is a game, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't about the game. It was about they had young men under their care, okay, and they, the way they coached, the way they taught them, is what you know, is how they they grew up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the same thing because like when I was in high school, if you had a disagreement and and started you know getting in each other's face, get the gloves out. Hey. Coach would grab both of you and just say, hey, come on behind. We'll go behind the uh, 4-H place, okay? Behind hey, the 4-H? We're fixed, to, we're fixed to settle this little stupid argument. And then it was you over. You got beat each other's brains out. And, then, hey, afterwards, get up, dust your, you know, uh, blood lip, you know, wipe it off, and then shake hands. Buddy, there's many hours spent under that cage on the football practice field. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, hey, you that. get stupid. Hey, I can get more stupid, okay, with no. the coaching deal. Hey, all right, both of you, come on. Indeed, you got that inbox pulled up? No. No, I do not. Oh, it's, about, <laughs> it's about growing up. That's right. Yeah. Okay, growing up and learning, okay, and like she's in jujitsu, that'll stick with her, you know. She's got the grit. She's got the patience. She's put the time in. Yeah. It says something for this young lady. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and for any, of, any yeah. of them that go through that, because you know when you get somewhere else in life where things get hard, you know you got the discipline. That's right. To get, oh, to that's, get out of it. To deal with it. That's yeah. the most. It may not yeah. be a fight. Yeah. It may be yeah. finances. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. a know. lot of kids these days just don't give up. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of three-year college kids out there, and I get made fun of a lot for going for six years. But if you stuck it out. You stuck it out. Didn't give up. It sucked, and I was just – and at the end, it was a joke because I was just whatever's quickest. But I was going to finish, and teaching kids how to just finish anything – Stick it out. Well, that's I right. I think is of the yeah, – No matter what it is, once you it start it, finish it. You finish yeah. it. Even if it – Like emails. Wrestling. Let's start some emails, Johnny D. I was so not ready for that. What's I was the folks looking for What's the folks a Bible verse because I'm way off on uh, the time. <laughs> Here's a good one. Andrew emails in, and it's the strangest. He needs love advice. Mm. But the the subject line is, what's the right age to date? But then here's the email. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. So that's where we're at. I know an awesome girl. She loves the Lord. She is 5'1", and I'm 6'1". one. That's okay. a high age. That's a height. Yeah. And I've been teased that we look weird when I'm talking to her because of the height difference. So what should I do? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hunter let out a little squeal with that one. Uh. Andrew, what's the problem? That's his question. That's the, that's the whole but thing. But there's no age? I, like that I guess he's just... wondering what's the right age today, and is there a height limit? But this isn't Space Mountain, man. This is... Yeah, 6'1 and 5'1. I mean, together, you're going to have perfectly average human beings. Yeah. But... yeah. I'm, I'm just confused by it. Size is there anything that you know well, about? Well, first, okay, when you say it's a love problem, hey, you're in the twilight zone when it comes to love, okay? 
Because, mm-hmm. hey, Cause nobody knows. This podcast. Oh. You know, oh. It's one of them things, hey, it's not it's not known. But a mystery. Okay, and like the human being really don't know what the word love means. God does, okay? But human beings don't. You know, I like you, but, you know, when you say, wait a minute, love? Well, hey, would you die for me? There you go. I'm saying, you know, it's it's a you know, and if you're worried about the hype thing, hey, don't worry about that. Like Martin said, hey, you're you're normal. I didn't have any prerequisites. Yeah, yeah. I married one that's five yeah, eleven. I was about to say Brittany tall. Oh yeah, but Allison's I mean that's short. just that's just how it happened. It wasn't. I, wasn't, I mean, she's not short. I didn't go around with a ruler. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, hey, you back stand, up to the yeah, wall, Henry. Yeah. Let me, let me. You Mark. stand up against that right there. Oh yeah, no, you're out. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a weird thing. It, yeah. Just yeah. move on. Whoever it is. Yeah. yeah. If you like the woman, okay, or the young lady, go for it. Hey, a newsflash, big dog. They're going to make fun of you no matter if she's 5'1 or 5'10. People's going to see you, and if you're happy, a lot of times miserable people are going to make fun of you. So just get ready to deal with it. Oh. Have you seen the comment section of this oh, podcast? There it is, there it is. <laughs> Look out! Look out! I was wondering. We're all happy. <laughs> you just did it again. Here they come. Anyway, they ain't stuck, hey, they ain't stuck around this. Add this to your resume. Uh, hey, have fun. Yeah, there it is. Hey, if, if, you, she, if you can't have fun, hey, be like me. I ain't coming. Yeah, miserable people make fun of happy that's people that's all that. the time. Hey, that's fine. Go here's ahead. one for miserable people making fun of happy people that I think you're really going to enjoy, Martin. Okay, good. Uh, Hudson emails in, do you think live scope is cheating? <laughs> Heck no. No, I got that stuff. It ain't cheating. Easy? That mess hard. Hey. It's hard to figure out the time that it takes to, to learn that stuff. No, man. That, if you put, it's just like this. Like Sage and her getting a um, gray belt. Yeah. Right? I've got live scope on my boat. I have I have not put in the time to learn it in and out. Mm-mm. When I put it in the water, fish don't magically jump in my boat. Like, now, does it, does it help? I mean, it gives you confidence because you're like, oh, I'm actually around fish. Let's figure out how to make this work. Mm-hmm. But other than that, you still got to figure out how to make them bite your cricket. I was, I think to say I, I look at this okay, so the mechanic when he opens his toolbox, he's cheating. Yeah, because he ain't doing it with his hand. He ain't doing. Hey, hey, he used a wrench. <laughs> yeah, no, not who good invented enough. such a, an item. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not good enough. Hey, yeah. look, <laughs> stop being a stupid human being. <laughs> it's a tool for crying out loud. Yeah, that forward facing sonar and fishing. You know, this is not yeah. a fishing podcast, and most of our people are like, "What in the world?" That is true. Hey, somebody told me they but, saw a guy with those eye eye goggles. What are they called? You know the uh, virtual reality. Virtual, and he was fishing fantasy world. And he was looking at his his graph. His graph. Yeah, yeah that's over come, his that, goggles. that's coming next. Yeah, yeah, with his goggles on. Yeah, yeah, they'll Bluetooth. It Bluetooths to your graph, and so yeah. Look, Actually, it's a kind of a better deal overall because you're not standing there with your head down all day, so you can actually stay somewhat aware of your surroundings instead of head down trolling out in the middle of the boat run and somebody t bone you because you ain't you ain't looking at what you're doing. Like this is true, you know. But I don't know. I in, in, to answer that question, I don't think it's cheating, but I do think I would rather enjoy creation than have my face stuck in a screen all day. Yeah, it's what do you do it for? I mean, it's the same reason I don't have a radio on my boat. Like, I, I go to get away from all of that. That's so right. I've got, well, you, ain't on, you ain't out there to serenade to fish? No, I've got live scope, yeah. or I've got what well, is yeah. mega live, but they're, everybody calls everything live scope. But I've got it on my boat. I just don't use it a lot. Well, no, no, it's, not, I, it's not why I go fishing. I, if my paycheck depended on it, you bet your bottom oh, yeah. dollar. Buddy. Oh, yeah. Pulling it out. But no. instead, I just go fishing well, and have it, a good time and get away. Yeah. The so, thing is, it's a tool. Okay? Do it how you want. Oh. Do it how you want to is what yeah. I'm telling fish. you. Just go. Enjoy. Just Enjoy go. and have fun. Go fishing. Yeah. 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 Ecclesiastes 1010. If the axe is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. Ooh, that ain't no dull axe right there. Bro. That ain't dull. And it took a long time <laughs> wow. and a lot of work, but she's sharp now. That's a good one. <laughs> Look out. I, yeah. And it took other people to sharpen her. Amen. And now she'll whoop you. Iron yeah. sharpens iron. There you yeah. go. Yeah. 
I think that's one of y'all's juju situ saying, right? Yeah, it's a juju yeah. saying. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's a juju. Said, hey, other individuals a, sharpen, back on a sharpen your talent. Uh, uh, Come here. Uh, All right, we'll see y'all next time right here on the Duck Call Room. We're out. Good luck with that, Hunter.